Welcome to Cardboard Box. Today we're going to look at Bad Cubes Robots Old Timer Series 02 Justice Force Demolitions Brawny. This is Bad Cubes version of a masterpiece brawn. It's a 2017 reissue of a toy they put out in 2014 under their old company name, Cubex. I only have a couple of Bad Cube toys, but their packaging is great. The designs are uniform and crisp. The illustrations are amazing, the instructions are clear, and all the extras are of top-notch quality. How Bad Cube presents themselves and this toy is fantastic. It comes with a full color instruction booklet and a beautiful character bio card in Chinese. But Bad Cube, I don't read Chinese. But don't worry, they thought of that. Included is a delightfully illustrated English card. Now I can totally understand those tech specs. His strength is 9. His endurance, also his toughness or how much of a beating he can take, is also 9. His courage is 10, that's the max. His intelligence is only 3. So he's strong, tough, brave, but dumb as rocks. For a demolition specialist, it's kind of strange that his firepower is only 1. I think that's because he likes to fight with his fists and not with guns. Although in truck mode, he doesn't need his fists for demolitions. He has other tools for that. Ronnie can equip his vehicle mode with a front-mounted, industrial-sized drill bit. In one episode of the Transformers cartoon, he used this special ability to drill a subsea tunnel for the rest of the Autobots to follow him and to attack the Decepticons' underwater base from below. He can use this ability to cut through anyone or anything standing in his way. He also comes packed with another vehicle weapon. You can mount a big dirty gun on his roof using a special adapter that they include. It can rotate more than 180 degrees and reminds me of those jeep mounted rocket launchers from the Jackal NES game. Ronnie is capable of similar running and gunning action. He may not have had this vehicle mounted weapon in the show, but it's a nice addition to the toy. You may be surprised to know that Bronny can fit inside Optimus Prime's trailer, but without the gun or the adapter. So he can fit in the trailer, but how does he scale with other Masterpiece Autobots? Here's Convoy, and here's Prowl. For the record, I don't know anything about vehicle scales, but that police car sports car seems too long. Let's try something else. Ah, uh, that feels better. After all, everything scales better with B. Guys, guys, don't go like, don't be like that. It's just a little joke. Speaking of little things, here he is next to G1 Braun. The original toy was sort of based on a toy version of a Toyota Land Cruiser. The cartoon model looked exactly the same. And while I said it might look like a Toyota Land Cruiser, Brawny here is not. Bad Cube have appeared to base vehicle mode on a Land Rover. Both the Japanese Land Cruiser and the UK Land Rover can trace their origins back to the US's quarter ton general purpose military trucks, otherwise known as Jeeps. All trivia aside, here he is next to the Titans Return Legend Scale Braun and the much smaller Titan Master Braun. These two official toys have a very much fantasy vehicle look about them, while Brawny here has a more authentic look. If you prefer a more G1 cartoony look to the vehicle, you may be interested in the version of Braun that Fan Toys is putting out sometime in the future. Now let's get on the transformation. First, the gas tank comes off, but it will be used for parts forming later on. Bad Cube is known for over-engineering its transformations. This one is no exception, though it comes apart into robot mode fairly intuitively. Locking everything back up into vehicle mode afterwards is a little more difficult and more time-consuming. There's an exactness going back to vehicle mode that I feel is not needed for going to robot mode. Everything just feels like it wants to go in the place that it wants to go in. It's less about moving, transforming big chunks, and more into clipping out and rotating small panels. It's hard to argue with the end result, because that is Braun. That's a fantastic representation of the character. If you're handling the toy a lot, such as moving his arms around a lot, you'll notice that the, the chest pieces will, will come open every now and again, but they can be tabbed right back in again. It would have been nice if they were held in a little more firmly. That's the yellow side pieces of the chest that I'm talking about. The upper body, completely happy with. I'm really not enjoying the panels on the sides of the legs. Not only did one of the sharp corners cut me while I was transforming it, but I feel it looks inelegant. It look, the back looks open, especially without the gas tanks part forming. Bad Cube's solution for Bronny's legs is okay, but I think we'll see some of the newer bots from Final Victory and from Fans Toys come up with a better solution for how those legs and the back might transform. Now for some robot mode comparisons. Here he is next to his G1 toy. Blah! Thankfully, we've come a long way from the early 1980s. Though someone had to make the packaging of that toy look better? 
Dynamic posing, super cool airbrushing, that's just lipstick on a pig. Most of us remember Braun from his cartoon character design or how he appeared in the comic books. Here we can see that Bacube nailed the lightness of the character, except from the knees down. They should be commended for an excellent job they did here. Let's compare them to the recent official toy skin. Come on in, don't be shy. Here's the Titans Returns Legends version and the Titan Master version. My friend House loaned me his Titans Return Braun for this review. I have to say, it is the best Titans Return toy that came out during that entire line. It's small, fun, affordable, and built exceptionally well. It deserves a celebratory fist bump. You too, small fry. Oh no, what'd you do? Go get him. Anyway, let's compare Brian to some other Masterpiece scale bots. Here's Hi-Fi, Daniel, Tumblr, Huff, Crack Up, Curly, Not Ramjet, Blactimus, Elagos, Graviter, Diestack. Hmm, he's certainly a... Big boy. Ronnie's as tough as they come, but you don't have to take my word for it. Can the chat and start kicking pig iron? One bash coming up! Clip Jumper may be as brave and reckless as Braun, but he's not made of the same stuff. Braun is tough as fudge. You feel tough enough for another go round? Having bots thrown at him doesn't even phase him. But throwing bots on the other hand. That's his pastime. Sometimes, he's even the one who wants to be thrown. Give me a toss, Optimus. I want to teach that bug a lesson. I don't think he's thought this through. Go get him, Bron! Gotcha! Punching is break. his solution to everything. Whether it's in the air, or underground, or under the sea. Punch it. This time a guy comes to your house, punches the wall, and walks away. Are fists the solution to everything? Easy. He's a bad mamma jamma and I wouldn't want to mess with him. You're out of the picture, guys. Watch him take a big bot out with just one shot from a little gun. Boom! Firepower one? Yeah, right. Ron's got all the right moves, so does this toy. His head can look up really well. It can't look down at all. It can rotate all the way around. The faceplate is easily removable. You can replace his standard old guy grumpy face with his old guy angry face. Get off my grass, you darn dirty kids! Ronnie has a great range of arm articulation. His shoulders can rotate all the way around. His arms can come up to about here. A bicep swivel looks much better than rotating the whole shoulder. He has double jointed elbows. The top joint is ratcheted. The bottom joint is friction. Wrist swivel on a very toit mushroom peg. The molded fingers have a beautiful sculpt, and they only move on the one hand. And he can do this. Booyah! He has a waist rotation that's totally unhindered by his backpack. His gas can in vehicle mode contained a wee little gun that he can use. That explains the level 1 firepower. I don't think he likes it. At least it folds away. Maybe Brownie would be happier with a special adapter he has for his hand. As seen in the cartoon, it's his welding torch. It can peg in on either hand, but unfortunately it doesn't rotate. I think Brownie prefers a different tool. Ah yes, the big dirty gun. You know where he got that, right? Megatron likes a dose of his own medicine! Now that was a kick! That cannon is too much for most minibots. Maybe even for Braun. But he has the ability to bounce back when the going gets tough. He can get down and dirty when he needs to. He doesn't have an ab crunch, but his transformation joint can get him over in a pinch. Even though I'm not completely happy with how his legs look, they function really well. He can do the splits, he has toe tilt, and he has a slight ankle pivot. There's full rotation around the thigh, and he has a good knee bend. He can kick straight out, and going back is only limited by the backpack. All in all, he's pretty nimble. He may seem like a squat turtle stuck on his back, but if he's a turtle, he's a ninja turtle. This agile little bot does a mean walk cycle. Thanks to Bad Cube, Braun now has the firepower to complement his strength and toughness. As a reissue, Ronnie is an older design, but this old timer isn't out of date. He's a relevant part of any masterpiece collection, especially minibots. He looks good no matter where you put him, helping out the little guys or going after the big guns. He's fun to pose, he has great articulation, and he has awesome balance. He punches above his weight and he looks good doing it. I think he's fairly accessible, he's priced well, 
He's made of high quality materials and all the packaging and books and instructions that come with them, they're all top notch. And that includes the illustrations and the concept art that's included. Just on his own, he'd be worth it. But he even comes with a ton of extras, like the big gun, the hand adapter, the drill bit, the extra angry face. It feels like a complete package. The sides of the chest do come unpegged fairly easily, and I think newer versions of Braun from other toy companies are going to address the leg transformation a lot better. However, this old timer from Bad Cube remains an outstanding design and toy. It delivers a robot with cartoon aesthetics and a real world vehicle mode. I highly recommend Bad Cube's Braun. So, what gets reviewed next? Will it be Magic Square's 4 wheel drive, their version of a Legend Scale Beachcomber? Could it be New Age Flipper, their version of a Legend Scale Bumblebee? Or will it be whatever's in the mystery box? As always, it's up to you. Vote for your choice in the poll up above. Is Brawny the brash brawling bot for you? Are you still wheels over heels for Hinch? Or are you favoring future features from Fans Toys and Final Victory? Angry at alliteration? No time for rhyme? Let me know in the comments below. You've been watching Cardboard Bots. See you next time.